What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy, some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick review and demonstration over Noise Shaper by Cable Guys. It's basically the newest addition to their Shaper Box 2 lineup. It's a texture slash noise plugin, but basically it's on steroids. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Push. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So when you open up the plugin, it's going to look like this. Just like any Shaper Box plugin, it's going to bring up the whole bundle. Um, if you did purchase Shaper Box 2 bundle, after September 1st, you get this plugin for free. I believe it is $29.99 currently. Um, but if you did purchase after September, just go ahead and open up your Shaper Box bundle and it should be there. You have to go online, but they gave you the license. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on noise. Um, they also have a couple presets you can start with from the vinyl cassette and the beat spice. Um, and so it's got all kinds of different options. It's got a whole bunch of different noises from to use from, and that's what's really nice. And just like every other Shaper Box plugin, you can draw, create automations with the noises and all that other stuff. Um, so I got a little sample beat that I'm gonna play for you guys without the Shaper Box on there, and then we're gonna go through it and throw Shaper Box on many of the different sounds so you guys can hear what it sounds like. All right, so that's what we're gonna be working with uh, for the sounds. I'm gonna start by just copying this little region right here. Uh, and I'm gonna start with the melodic pieces. Uh, so I'm just gonna play all the melodic pieces and I'm gonna turn the noise shaper on there and let you guys hear kind of some of the sounds um, as I explain it to you. So I'm gonna go through and do a little explaining first with this plugin. It's got different bands, which is nice. So you can move this band over and you can add different sounds on the different bands, which is a very nice feature. Um, and then it's got the different noise types. So you got all kinds of different noises from vinyl noises to tape noises to random outdoor noises uh, to like fabric scrapes, soda streams, all kinds of different stuff, which is pretty nice. Um, they have a DB level so you can adjust how loud you want the noise. And what's nice about this is for each band you choose, like let's say I choose the highs band, it'll change the noise um, level. So you can change all of the different mix and the LFO smooth and all that stuff for each layer uh, of the band or each different noise that you choose for each band. Um, then it's got your high pass, your low pass. It's got the link that you can do it for bar, um, the LFO mode, um, which is Hertz and pitch and beat. Um, you know, you can smooth it out. They have this nice feature with this one as well. So they have like a threshold amount and you can basically decide where you want the noise to start. So you can have it not play for anything that's under 6 dB and have the noise play for everything that's over 6 dB. Um, then they also have follow and duck. So I know you guys are anticipating hearing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and push play and I'm going to play some different noises for you real quick. We'll start off with the white noise. So before I get too far into this, after I push play once, um, what's nice about this too is if it's too much for you in the high range. You can just change, take this low pass and move it down. And you can see that makes all the difference in the world. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick through some of these noises at random, which we'll go to modulated.
man some of these uh these noises are so nice to me i mean like that wood scrape um that grind churning um i also like um these birds in this rain um i like these blowing bubbles a lot um i'll go ahead and play the rain for you course it wouldn't be a noise plug-in without the vinyl and the tape so I'll go through a couple of these for you as well All right, so now I'm gonna go through some of the other features. If you've never seen any shaper box items, what's cool about this plugin is that you can draw on it. So, you know, all you have to do is come here and you can draw on the node and boom, it'll create something for you. Um, it also has different shapes. So, you know, you can draw all kinds of different shapes on here, um, as you see, and then it'll give it a different pattern. Um, so it also has a bunch of different rhythms down here as well that you can use. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch to drums for just a moment so that you can kind of hear what it sounds like, um, just the noise by itself on some drums. Um, and then I can explain some other things for you as well. So this is what the little drum pattern is gonna sound like without the shaper box on there. All right, so now let's go ahead and throw shaper box on there and I wanna show you guys some of the stuff um, that you can do with like the threshold and everything. So as we're looking at it and we're listening to it now. All right, so now like, let's say I turn the threshold up. It'll only play and you can see your wave pattern down here. It'll only play when a noise hits negative uh, six dB. So you can hear it only playing when the kick and the snare hits. And if I turn it up a little more. So you hear it's only playing when uh, the kick plays. So that's a nice little feature as well, where you can control um, exactly when uh, the plugin's gonna kick in and when it's not. So um, let's go ahead and mess with some more stuff. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna come back over here um, and we're going to mess with some different frequencies. So now you can see, I can turn it on high and I can pick the kind of noise that I wanna use. Um, so let's say we wanna use some kind of vinyl, um, some kind of crackling. We'll go with this rattling record. And so you can hear it crackling as it's going. Um, let's find something a little that's a little louder and uh, a little more prominent in the beat. So now you can hear that going. So now we can also turn on something on the low as well. And, you know, we can have three different noises going at the same time. So, you know, like let's say we want to get um, maybe that, that wood scrape. And you can adjust the mix for each one of these or the DB. Um, there's also this button here for noise only. So if you click this, it'll play the noise only. So if I turn, I gotta turn on all three bands because I got three different bands going. So 
so that's a little cool little feature too you can use that to start a beat and just have that going and then the drums kick in with the same pattern um that'd be nice you know pretty neat as well all right so i'm also going to show you what it sounds like on a vocal um so i have this little vocal right here uh from my homegirl musically sample pack she's dropping today called flip my loops um i'll leave the description for that below when it's available um but basically um this is what it's going to sound like on some vocals so you can put all kinds of different noises on there um again just like everything else and you can throw some vinyl crackle on there or anything like that So that's the plugin in a nutshell. Um, in my honest opinion, I would definitely recommend checking this out. Um, they do have a free trial with all of Shaper Box 2. Um, so you can download the whole entire plugin suite and you can use it. You can um, demo it for as long as you want. The demo is unlimited. Uh, you just can't save the settings and you can't save it in your project, but you can always export the wave out or anything like that. It's not one of those demos where it gets quiet after 20 seconds or anything like that. It's fully operational but you can only use one of the plugins in the suite at a time. So you would only be able to use Noise Shaper. You couldn't load up instances of halftime or anything like that. Um, but again, it's a free tool that you can use to try out the plugin and decide if you do like it. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.